you've got all the younger people that come in and they're all dressed up 80s and they're like, I love vintage music. And you're like, oh my God, That's vintage cool. music. <laughs> I know, I know. It's crazy. I it. It's crazy. Hey, we have people contacting us all the time about um, looking for a realtor and looking to move to Richmond, Virginia. If that sounds like you, we would love to be the real estate team that helps you. All of our contact information is below the description and we can't wait to hear from you. Hey everyone, it's Erin Melton. Welcome back to Living in Richmond, Virginia and another Spotlight. Really excited about who we have today. I think we have the two, um, the studious realtors today with our glasses. I have uh, J.D. Miller from Lynchburg. J.D., thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Well, I am excited to learn uh, as much as possible about Lynchburg and kind of how it compares to Richmond, um, because I'll tell you the truth. I don't know a lot about Lynchburg besides a really, you know, famous college that's there. That's it. Right. So. right. Okay. Happy to do it. Very, very good. All right. So let's get started. Uh, J.D., just kind of an idea. If you wanted to go to an amusement park and you lived in Lynchburg, first, where would you go? And how long would it take you to get there? Okay. So there, there are not a lot of amusement park options around Lynchburg. So I did my little homework and looked at what's near Richmond. So you have Bush Gardens, I think to the north of you? Uh, to the east of us. Yes. Oh, Bush Gardens is to the east of you. It, it looks north or south, but technically. Oh, you got it. King's Dominion is to the north, right? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. So King's Dominion for us would be a, like a two hour plus ride. Okay. Uh, okay. Bush Gardens all the way like towards the coast would be like a three hour ride. Definitely. So that those really are your biggest amusement parks and that are closest to us. So it'd be a little bit of a drive for you. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. So I would say Richmond, we definitely have pick your poison, you know, east or north and, and both, both within, uh, half an hour to an hour you can be at whatever amusement park you want wow. right so it's even, nice even with, even with traffic even uh, maybe add a little teeny bit with traffic okay okay but definitely it's a day trip for you where it, it's a, it's an overnighter probably for us absolutely you're probably gonna have to get a hotel room right there you know sort of thing, which isn't a bad thing sort of thing you know right and you can really enjoy that amusement park maybe get an adult beverage you know right whatever maybe a short-term rental there you go. There you yeah. go. That sounds like a good idea. Right. All right. How about um, going to the park? What is like, you know, if you wanted to go to the park and you lived in Lynchburg, where's the place you're going to go? How long is it going to take you to get there? Just the park, you said? Yep. Just a, like the like the everywhere everyone goes. Yeah. So I'd probably say Riverfront Park right down on the James River. I okay. Mean, you live in Lynchburg. So, you know, we I use Lynchburg City proper as kind of the central hub. Um Obviously, we cover areas that are, you know, north, south, east, west. Um, and depending on where you are, the joke that we kind of say is that you're like 15 minutes from everywhere in Lynchburg. Mm -hmm. Now, except if you're, you know, if you're 15 minutes on the west edge and you're trying to get somewhere on the east edge, you're a half an hour. But uh, Riverfront Park, right downtown, um, they have a lot of events and different like artists and venues. People take their dogs out there. It's um, a lot of eateries around that area. Okay. So that's definitely where I'd go. Okay. Well, I think let's volley off of that then. And, and to get sure. there, let's let's say you lived in, let's say you lived in Lynchburg proper. To get there, how long would it take you to get there? Oh, I mean, five, 10 minutes, depending on where you're at. So people have, people live right downtown, you know, condos and mm -hmm. uh, some townhouses and older homes. So you're five minutes from there. Mm -hmm. And there's areas of the city where some are a little more, um, rejuvenated, <laughs> you know, renovated. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and there are some that are a little more or just a little less so. Um, so, but there are, you're five minutes from there, depending on where you're at. Now, Lynchburg city, interestingly, is like 50 square miles. So you could still be in Lynchburg city proper, but maybe be, uh, in the Northern end, what we call Boonesboro, two, mm -hmm. four, five, three zip code. And that's going to take you 15, 20 minutes maybe to get okay. downtown, depending. Okay. But yeah, you could be real, real close. Sounds good. How so about Richmond? On it. I think that's really cool because Lynchburg, we're not necessarily next to each other, but you said right. about being right on the James. So yeah. why don't I just pick 
a park that's right on the James in Richmond. Um, I'm going to say probably what you kind of described to me would make me think more like, um, let's say like Browns Island. Um, I know I took um, my puppy dog and uh, they just did the River Rock, which is a festival they do each year nice. um, where they do like the dogs um, do a like um, how far they can jump into like a big pool. They were doing a contest with all the, you know, they get the dogs all riled up. Yeah. And then they jump as far as they could. And they had contests about that. And then they had um, live performers over there, um, paddle boards out there that people could take out on the river. And then somebody doing some sort of like parkour sort, I don't know what it's called, sport, but it's like ropes and they were doing like things over top of the river. So um, oh, yeah. you know, obviously if you lived in the city, you could be there very fast. Same thing, like five you know, right. five minutes or something like that. But if you're outside of the city where most people in the Richmond area live outside of the city, um, maybe uh, from most places, I would say, yeah, kind of the same thing. 15, 20 minutes, something right. like that. You know, the, the biggest thing is parking. Little, we have a little spot across the river too. It's in Amherst County technically, but okay. there's, um, but they have like, a you know, the paddle boards, the canoes, things like that. So you're all, you're right downtown, but it's not, you're not technically in the city. Right. Right. Yeah. And you know, what's uh, ge geographically, I can be a little challenged, but if, if you take the time and look at the map, to me, it looks a little odd the way the James river goes, right? Like it, like you look at it, it hits like kind of Lynchburg up here, but then it goes all the way down and kind of like circles back to hit. Very strange. Yeah. But it's on the way it goes, you know, through Lynchburg out to Richmond. Right. This, this seems like, you know, when you've um, you've had uh, your, your seller has, hired oh yeah i hired a plumber to fix that drain at the sink and you're looking you're like exactly i i'm no I, i'm no um physicist but exactly how are things going to get from like here to a pit that's like yeah this, right I know. pretty much the same sort of thing all right yeah jd if you wanted to catch your favorite performer at a mm -hmm. concert for one who are you going to see and two, where would you go? Okay. So probably I would say that Lynchburg does not have a lot of big name people come to Lynchburg. We don't have a large venue okay. with the exception of uh, Liberty University. They'll have people come in for concerts, but then, you know, you're going to be, that's going to be the Christian artist coming. Right, there. right. There is a place downtown, which I have not been to yet. And okay. I have, I was upset that I missed this because I'm a huge office fan, the TV show, the office. All right. Yes. And there's a band, which I think their name is the Dundies. Okay. 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 And they do like weddings and things like that, but they also do shows or a cover ba cover band. And if you go on YouTube and look at them, the Dundies, they're really good. They were at a place downtown called the Glass House. And okay. before you and I spoke, I looked up the Glass House, tried to get information on the website. Turns out they're doing some revamping and uh, remodeling of their own. So I don't know when they're going to be open again, but that's a smaller venue. And so, you know, not a big name, but, you know, the Dundies are, are the Dundies. If I were going to go to a big name, I would travel an hour west and go to Roanoke probably. Okay. It, like the Berglund Center. The Berglund Center has like a 10,000 seat Coliseum and then they have a little 2,500 seat uh, performing arts per, uh, center. Right. And they have coming up, like they have Daryl Hall and someone, not okay. John, Oates, but I like the, I like Hall and Oates. Yeah. So I would go see Hall and Oates. I, I like Leon Bridges. I don't know if Leon Bridges would be there, but. Okay. Um, and then they have comedians like, so if you don't know these comedians, Nate Bargatze, do you know him? I do know that name. Yes. Yeah. He's funny. Um, and Brian Reagan, they're both going to be at the Burgoyne Center. Okay. okay. Up. All right. So not bad. An hour, an hour. That's not bad. An hour there. Yeah. What's the, what's your spot in Richmond? Ooh. Well, kind of, um, I would say for big name, if you're okay with doing more of an amphitheater outside, you know, so great during the prettier months. We definitely have Innsbruck Live, um, which is really great. It's actually set in kind of suburbia, right okay. in a in an office park. You would not know it was there unless you knew it was there. Um, so that's a great option when you're right in town. Um, and big names come through that for sure. If, wait, a minute, wait a minute. I don't know yeah, if yeah. I've been there before. Is that, or maybe it's someplace I've been similar. You say an office park. Is it like office buildings, but then they kind of have like a 
courtyard area? Um, well, if you came to Richmond area, it's it's nor it's near Glen Allen, so close to like where two ninety five was. Okay, yeah, yeah. You might have you might have been there. A lot of people, everyone I've been talking, they're like, oh yeah yeah yeah, I know in Glen Allen, I know that, and I was like, oh that's yeah. great. Which is funny, I've never I've driven by it, never actually been to concert there, but I know people that have, right? All right. Um, you can get season tickets there, um, and big names come through there. Um, for other places, if I wanted to catch someone, definitely going down to Norfolk, which would be about an hour and forty five minutes. Um, maybe going to Charlottesville, about an hour. Um, yeah. We had a big venue right in town in Richmond that did get closed down, un unfortunately. So we have to kind of rely on the smaller ones. Mm. Um, it's funny you talked about like, oh, hey, these are the the groups that were coming through and you were excited about this coming in. Um, there is, <laughs> this is my guilty pleasure. Um, we have a, a smaller venue downtown uh, Richmond. It's called the National. And you have like some, you know, bigger performers that come through, but there is a cover, like an 80s cover band that travels okay. up and down the East Coast. Um, and they're called the Leg Warmers. And they're super, super fun. And um, I have to, I'm going to have to, I, gosh, I, my, my brother and my, uh, my sister-in-law got me totally like hooked on them. They had a party a couple years back and we were there in Falls Church. Well, now every time they come in town, I'm just like, oh God, I gotta go. Of course, I go every single time. So um, cover, but like, what do they sing? Like, what kind of songs? Oh, like, like everything you can think. Like, you know, it's all like, you know, eighties Bon Jovi, mm. uh, you know, um, like Bon Jovi, Madonna, um, and then like later back, you know, and then uh, Robert Palmer. Um, That's all, fun. You know, fun stuff, and then on up into like as you're going into the nineties too. And it's just okay. a fun mix. Not, uh, not yeah. to be sexist, Aaron, but leg warmers i think of female is it an all-female band is it no like it's not mm -mm. i guess just very indicative of the 80s like you know leg warmers you really don't think of leg worms in any other era no. so right okay you've got all the younger people that come in and they're all dressed up 80s and they're like i love vintage music and you're like oh my god That's <laughs> vintage cool. music i know i know it's crazy I it's crazy, but I would say big name. Um, let's see what would be good. Um, oh gosh, who am I thinking that I'd like love to see? I wish Shania Twain would come to Virginia. Oh. She used to be, she has her um, like you know, her regular performance she has out in Vegas, but I'd love it if she came to Virginia. Um, I would drive several hours to go do that, or I'd drive to Norfolk for about an hour and a half to go see her. Yeah, yeah. So, not to put you on the spot, but how, what do you think is closest to us we, you know me you charlottesville like what do you think is the biggest like venue do you think it's in charlottesville probably yeah that would be kind of an in-between spot i'd say charlottesville probably yeah. Yeah. yeah that's like an hour and a half well again depending on where you are in lynchburg like an hour 15 probably mm -hmm. um jumping on 29 and going north so probably probably yeah. about the same probably about the same too yeah okay, okay so that equal so we know we just meet in Charlottesville for, for concerts for sure. That's right. We could. Okay. Okay. So we're, we're kind of, you know, we're, we're even here between the old Lynchburg and, and <laughs> Roanoke, uh, me, Roanoke, Richmond. I don't even know my city. Yeah, I know. Um, now I think we're going to change things up a little bit. Okay. To go to the beach. If mm. you are, if you live in Lynchburg, where are you going to go and how long is it going to take you to get there? Yeah. So I, I'm going to confess that I haven't been to Virginia Beach yet, but I think Virginia Beach might be the closest. And we're, you're talking three and a half hours. Yeah. Um, now, I know a lot of people here love like Myrtle Beach. Right. And I think that's like a five hour mm -hmm. ride. So yeah, you're gonna you're definitely gonna beat us as far as proximity, which is for me is one of the cons of Lynchburg, one of the bummers because I I like going to the beach. So yep, yep. Because you're close. I mean, what are you? An hour? Um, I'd say uh, to Virginia Beach, probably about an uh, hour hour forty five minutes. Not bad. And okay. Then, um, not to get anyone not as upset. close. Not as close. Not to get anyone upset, but is Virginia Beach like? Is that where you would go, or would you have a different beach? Mm, I mean, I'd go to Virginia Beach for sure, you know, for fun, you know, go stay with my mother-in-law for a couple of days and, uh, and my daughter, something like that. We go have fun right there on the boardwalk and all the stuff down there. Go to Rudy Inlet. You know, that's fun for sure. Once, you know, once a year or something like that. 
Yeah. Spending a long amount of time at a beach, I'd probably be more apt to go to the Outer Banks, which is exactly what I do. Um, right. At a Kerala, like once a week, uh, once a year for a week uh, with a bunch of my ladies in a big house. And that's going to take, um, that will p- take right about, um, probably right about three hours to get there. It's not bad. Oh, that's not bad at all. No, no not bad at all. 95? Okay. I don't even have to get on the interstate most of the time. I take 460 the back way down. Oh. And then I hook on to like the, the byways as I get into like Chesapeake and Suffolk. It's much nicer. I don't yeah. worry about all that mess on 64. Oh, it's Friday or it's Saturday. You're like, <laughs> you're not moving. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's great. It is good. It is good. All right. But this is where you're going to definitely um, knock us out. Um, <laughs> the mountains. Do you oh, live yeah. in Lynchburg's? And you want to go to the mountains. Um, how long is it going to take you to get there? Well, certain mountains. I mean, not, I mean, you're not really that far. Um, when I say not that far, I mean, you're maybe, maybe 20, 30 minutes. That's real close. On where you're trying to go. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, the peaks of Otter, which are like the, yes. the uh, focal point visually, um, probably you know, 30 minutes. Um, you're not far from jumping on, uh, the Blue Ridge Parkway somewhere though. And, um, you know, doing some hiking and things like that, or, and we're like an hour from Wintergreen. How about Wintergreen? Do you know how far you are from Wintergreen? Yeah, we're definitely further than an hour from Wintergreen. I would say we're, we're, we're etching up on two hours at least. Okay. Yeah. So that kind of combines, of course, you have the mountain, the Wintergreen Resort, you have the mountain to ski and, and they do like a, I think a nationally recognized tennis um, mm-hmm. center there. And then you have all the wine country in there, um, yes. but you can jump on the Appalachian trail right there too. You can do hiking, things like that. So um, yeah, it's a different, I mean, it's a little bit of a different world. And actually when I started in real estate, which was only a couple of years ago, um, probably my first handful of uh, deals happened in wintergreen. So okay. Yeah, I ended up joining the Charlottesville MLS as well, just because I was going to Wintergreen so often. But interesting, um, and it's not that far from you. I did not know it was that um, that close to you guys for sure. Yeah, and, and I would say for Richmond for skiing, like I know Wintergreen isn't far away, but probably like the closest skiing is going to be Massanutten, and I would say that's probably about that's eh, probably about an hour fifteen minutes from us give or take sort of thing that feels definitely closer than say wintergreen so that makes sense what you said and mountain wise you guys we're not going to see any mountains until at least an hour from richmond so you get that which direction is that for you that massive west. Nut- that's west. Uh, definitely west yep okay. west from us for sure whereas wintergreen is how is that from you guys or so the mountains, how is it from- kind of north northwest okay okay like when you're in Lynchburg in certain areas, would you say you can see the mountains or no? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. The interesting thing when we were house hunting ourselves and we bought two years ago is you'd be driving and you'd be like, Oh, like that's an awesome view of the peaks of Otter. And then, you know, you're going to this house that's 30 seconds away, but then right. going there you'd whoop, drop down on the road and you can't see it, you know? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So gotcha, it, gotcha. really elevation changes. I mean, they call Lynchburg. I don't know what your, your territory or terrain is like, but you know, they call Lynchburg the Hill city. And okay. when we were moving here ourselves and we, and when we were house hunting, you would see on a listing, it would say flat yard. And you're like, what's, what's the big deal? You know, so right, we, right. everyone's yard was flat. Right. But, you're like, but here, nope, it's up and down. It's up and okay. down. Yeah. Flat may be a subjective term, right? Right. Well, so in Richmond, is it a lot? I mean, are when you're going to look at houses, do you are you concerned about oh the yard drops off or is it most of it level? I would say that we definitely have some topography, but nothing to the degree of you guys. I mean, okay. it's it's much not flat, but I would I, I wouldn't call it the hill city. I'd call it the river city, but not yes. the hill city for sure. Yes. So. Okay. Okay. So we know for all our mountain people and people that love to hike and spend time out there, you know, Lynchburg's going to be a better spot for you. If you're liking a little bit more central, a little bit close to the beach, a little bit more of an option, maybe Richmond's the spot for you, right? Yeah, yeah, you got it. All right. All right. All right. So here, talk to me a little bit, JD, about 
in Lynchburg, what is your absolute favorite place to go that is in your, let's say kind of that Lynchburg, what you would consider your MLS, not get an extended way out, but more like if you, someone said to you, hey, where do you live? And you'd be like Lynchburg, but technically you're in the county kind of outside of the city, but it's yeah. still Lynchburg. That spot, what is the favorite spot you like to go to? Hmm. Well, for me, I I like just, okay, there's a couple, couple answers here. If I'm going to go on a regular basis, we're probably talking um, like Blackwater Creek Trail. Okay. The Blackwater Creek Trail runs right through Lynchburg City downtown. It has paved trails. It has like six miles of a paved trail. Then you have offshoots where you can go on, you know, earthen trails, but people ride by, walk their dogs, run. So it's a nice area to get out and walk. Mm -hmm. And I need to add more running, but we're, we're getting there. Right. And then you're downtown. You can be right near like a coffee shop or an ice cream place or something mm -hmm. like that. So on a fairly regular basis, my wife and I will hit that. Now, if you're talking about just like going to a place, one of the cool places we have here is Jefferson, uh, Thomas Jefferson's Poplar Forest. So oh. Thomas Jefferson's like second home, you know, like his summer getaway okay. in Forest, which is in Bedford County, right outside Lynchburg City. And that if you're into history, I mean, we have a few historical places that's right close by Appomattox Courthouse, where the nation yes. reunited. That's in Appomattox, but it's um, not far from us. Um, now, probably some people would say, I'm, I'm not a big lake person, but we have Mountain Lake, which is, you know, 30, 25, 30 minutes from Lynchburg City. So mm -hmm. into that. Um, and that is that's borders. Smith Island Lake kind of like splits and borders Bedford County. I mean, right. there's a county to the other side of it. But um, so people could that, that could be an answer for someone. Not for me. I'm not a okay. big person. OK, gotcha. That's fair enough. But. Aaron, did you ever watch the movie What About Bob? I sure did. That was filmed at Smith. I Mountain. know. Yeah. That was not New Hampshire, Lake Winnipesaukee. That's that right. was Smith Mountain Lake. Yep. I love that. Virginia. Yep. I love that. Yep. Where would you go? Oh, let's see. I know um, I gave you a couple different options there, different answers, like every day or like kind of, if you had, think about this too, where you go, but if you had someone visiting. See, like mm -hmm. if I had someone visiting, I'd be like, hey, you should go to Poplar Forest. Right, right, right. But it's, right. so go whatever direction you want. Okay, okay. So if somebody was visiting and I wanted to like showcase the city um, and like something that like everyone would be like, oh, I've heard about this. I've heard about this. Okay, so I'm going to say that, um, and it's one spot I did not go until uh, last year, um, Hollywood Cemetery. I know that sounds kind of macabre, but- No, I like it, cemetery. It's very cool, and it's actually been featured in a whole lot of movies. It's definitely talked about in lots of books. Everyone always talks about Hollywood Cemetery, and I'm like, it's a cemetery. What, is it, what does it mean? But it is absolutely beautiful. Okay, um, you have to say it slower for me. Uh, what's the word? What's it called? Uh, Hollywood Cemetery? Oh, it's Hollywood. Just Hollywood. Hollywood. Oh, Hollywood. I just didn't hear you well. Okay. Gotcha, Hollywood. gotcha. That's my city girl talk. Yeah. I talk too fast. <laughs> That's right. That's um, right. Yeah, Hollywood Cemetery would definitely be a great spot that I would show someone because they probably have heard about it in some movie or book. And also just it has an amazing, stunning view of the James mm -hmm. and kind of the mixing of the urban. Pardon me. I have just dis I've disappeared. <laughs> it's because I was talking about cemeteries. I'm gone. Um, that is a great place for sure. Um, besides that, if someone was visiting, I'd, I'd uh, two different spots. I would take them to. I would take them to like Belle Isle, Browns Island for sure to be again on the river, um, get out on the rocks, have fun there, really get to see the skyline of the city for sure. Mm -hmm. And then the other one probably would be, um, particularly if they had kids, I'd take them to Maymont. Um, it, it, it is the spot you have to go to if you're in Richmond, particularly if you have children. They have a great little petting zoo. Oh, um, and then they have a beautiful like um, old gorgeous house and they had amazing uh, gardens behind it and it's just it's just the spot that if you're a richmoner you've been there okay um and if you aren't a richmoner that's where you're going to take again just to kind of like showcase yourself and see those right. are probably probably the probably the spots for sure to be for sure okay. okay 
Um, I want to go to the cemetery now. Okay. Okay. So Hollywood Cemetery. On my list. And it's and it's actually the entrance into it, which is interesting. It's kind of in this very kind of residential sort area, and the gate into it's very nondescript. Mm. So it kind of sets this whole like, what the hell am I going into sort of thing? Just beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Um, and I'd really like to check out uh, the place you talked about, about the running part. That'd be beautiful. All yeah. right. JD, talk to me kind of about average prices, price ranges in in the Lynchburg kind of area. Sure. Sure. So I will say, let me give you first what has sold. So I did a little checking here from April 1st until present. We had 877 properties close, sell. And the average price was 286, 286,000. Okay. Okay. The median price was 240. Okay, so we had an average 286, median 240 that has sold from April until now. But currently we have 359 active listings, uh, residential, say mm -hmm. residential. Mm -hmm. And the average list price is 350. I'm sorry, 391, 391,000, and the median is 330. So I think that's pretty fair. That that seems like it's a closer assessment. I mean, you know, you, if you could look at a very um, TLC <laughs> needing property, that's going to throw your numbers off a little bit. And yeah. then we have some outliers that are, you know, some some higher priced ones. But the 350 to 400 mark seems like, for us right now, maybe even closer to 400, like that's kind of like your your median middle of the road kind of uh, properties that people are looking at. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What about equal? Is it? Yep. About equal. Yeah. Okay. And that's definitely up from how it was. Uh, the pandemic has, has certainly um, put a difference on what the average price range for you know the Richmond City and encompassing the big major counties like Henrico, Chesterfield, Hanover. Yeah. That's what I thought. Now, when you're in Richmond City, do yep. you, do you, I don't know how to word it. Like, is Richmond City, is it mostly urban city? Or is mm -hmm. it, like, are you still inside Richmond City uh, limits, but maybe it feels a little more suburban depending on where you are? Sure, sure. Um, it it kind of depends on where you are area wise. I would say that there are, there is one, there are two certain sections that I would say would seem more suburban. Mm -hmm. One in particular I can think of, which is actually more of the, it's south of the James. Um, but I think it was, it was annexed by Chesterfield County and okay. actually became part of the, of, uh, it was like in the fifties or sixties, like that became part of the city. That's going to feel a lot more residential. Okay. And then there's just a portion that's kind of like the near West end that is bumped right up against uh, Henrico County where it is city, but I don't know, it feels a bit more residential. It's the kind of city. If I lived in the city, it would be how I lived. Um, it, it's, it's, it's bustly, but it's not like, how do I describe it? Like, you're like, I'm never going to find any parking in right. the middle of the city. I, I'm a burbs girl. So anything that's a little bit more suburban is, is going to be more for me. Right. Um, but definitely, if you want to, for price points, um, if you want to get more bang for your buck, um, people living outside of the city um, are definitely going to do a better. They go into the counties, you know, to get more more land, a bigger house. Right. All that right. stuff. Yeah, definitely for more land, right? But like probably like us, if you want to be closer to downtown, you can yeah. But then you're going to get you're going to get less as far as finishes, square yes. footage, all that. If you're going to get if you're going to move up in finishes and square footage, and you're going to pay way more being in the city there, for right? sure. Yeah, for sure. Okay, but it's worth it. It's worth it, particularly if you want that lifestyle where you want that real, you know, very walkability or you know, riding your bike, not having to have a car. You can't right. live in the Richmond area without a car unless you live in the city. Right. For sure. Yes. For sure. All right. Let's talk about traffic and average commute times for Lynchburg. What would you say right. that's like? Yeah. Very dependent on when you're leaving. So from my house to Liberty University, which is the largest employer in Lynchburg. Okay. okay so we have Liberty University. Then we have Centra Health Systems. Okay. Uh, so Centra Health System Hospital downtown. 
So, um, and downtown, like you're near the kind of downtown near the river, right along the river. So if you leave here, if you, or if you leave my house, so I'm kind of on the Western side in forest, we could get to Liberty in 12, 13 minutes. I could get downtown in 20, 25 minutes. If I leave at say 7 AM, but if I'm doing that at 7:30 or eight, it's probably going to add, you know, I don't know, 50%, 75% to my t travel time. Okay. Right? Lynchburg city is not, it's small. It's not large. We're talking about, um, 90,000, maybe let me look at my okay. number. Okay. Um, no, 81,000, sorry, Roanoke is about 90,000 or 99,000. Okay. Well, okay. Lynchburg city, 50 square miles. The roads, it's one of the, one of the cons of being here. If you're, like when Liberty's letting out, you know, when all the kids are hitting the okay. road, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, down on Ward's road, the main thoroughfare, um, or if you're going during morning or evening kind of rush hour, the, the infrastructure was not built to handle the amount of traffic that they have. Sure. And so like one really good example of that is some of the on-ramp off ramps or the highways, you know, can be quite dangerous because it wasn't built. Like it was, it's a short runway, you know, and right, right. And you got to make a decision and go or else, you know, you're kind of stuck. Okay. Um, but generally commute time, I'm going to say 15, 20 minutes. Okay. It's so not bad. And that's yeah. interesting to know about the employers for sure. Yeah. Um, most of, I would say 20, 25 minutes for commute in the Richmond area. And most people are, I'd say our bigger employers would probably be um, Amazon, Capital One, um, oh. definitely, um, VCU, MCV, you know, yeah. other, you know, big medical college, uh, big, uh, university sort thing. Um, those are going to be our bigger employers. And though we do have people that commute out of the area, some people that do commute to more the, um, North Virginia or DC area, that's kind of yeah. far and in between. Most are going to be remote or actually working in Richmond rather than commuting right. well. So, right. Yeah. I think okay. it's us. Although we could have some that that could commute towards Roanoke. Okay. I think you could do that fairly easily. Now, Amazon, is that kind of a newer addition to Richmond? Uh, newer, and it's definitely further south. Okay. Uh, definitely further south. So most people that are working at Amazon are, are likely going to be working in Chesterfield County, most likely. Okay. Um, and then all the Capital One people, though they have um, a couple different campuses, the big main campus is out um, – you know, far, the far West and more towards like short pump, you might be familiar yeah. with it's, it's, it's yeah. tucked over there. So okay. a lot of people are going to be like for, for capital one are going to usually live in Henrico. Maybe some of them live over in Goochland and some maybe in Chesterfield County, if they're super convenient to 288, maybe, okay. but that's nice. usually where they're going to be. Um, but yeah, easy things. The nice thing about Richmond, I, I will definitely say that, that I have enjoyed. And I've lived in several different cities in uh, the Virginia area. Um, and some are definitely, like you've said with Lynchburg, we're not set up for, right. we're not set up properly for this, right. for the growth. Richmond, um, I feel like it was. There's so many different ways to get everywhere. If if you know that the, you know, the interstate might snarl a little bit at certain times of the day, but it's, we don't have traffic jams. What we think of traffic, it's just nothing. You've got 295, you've got 95, you've got 64. Um, then you've got 288, you've got 895, you've got chipping in. There's just so many different ways to get to different places, which helps yeah. a lot. Right. Yeah. Lot. You actually have interstates there. You know, we, we yeah. don't, we don't have an interstate, a true interstate. That would make it tough. Also, if things are snarling up and you've got dangerous exit ramps and it's not an interstate, yikes. Yeah. It's going to be tough. Something to get used to. Yeah. Definitely something to get used to. All right. How about, um, Property taxes. Um, talk to me about kind of, uh, you know, just how things are falling, um, you know, the city and the most popular counties in your kind of Lynchburg area. What sure. are people probably going to be paying in taxes? Sure. So Lynchburg City is $1.11. Okay. Or okay. one per dollar value. And it's it's the most expensive in the area. Sure. Bedford County is 50 cents per nice and cheap. dollar value. So nice and property, cheap. Yeah, your property taxes are in half. So um, if you can do it, that's another thing that's always publicized on the listings. You know, if you're like 
right outside the city. So you still have the convenience of being that close, but you're at you, Bedford County taxes. Um, yeah. You know, it's a big deal. And then Campbell County's in second place brought 51 cents per. Um, oh, so real inexpensive. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Well, how's it compared to Richmond? Well, um, I think Richmond City uh, is, at, I think, I'm pretty sure it's at $1.21 now. And there's some spots where they have, um, where they're, um, they kind of put an abatement on it. Um, the areas that they're trying to build back up again, that it encourage investors to come in, rebuild, revitalize things. And it's like, hey, we'll freeze it for a certain amount of time sort of thing. And I think that's really helped in certain spots. But yeah, you're, you're going to pay, you're going to pay a, a enough in taxes in the city, you know, for there's their advantage. But even our more affordable counties, like I think about like, um, you know, Henrico County, I think of it as being very affordable, but it's still, um, I think they're now at about 83 cents per every hundred assessed. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Chesterfield, though, we were up at, we were at 97 uh, cents per hundred assessed now. Um, you know, they're doing us favor. And I think they dropped it down to 93 cents. You know how it goes when the market's hot? I don't know yeah. if they do this the same where you're in Lynchburg and in the counties that it's like the market gets hot. And I think everyone must be calling the county offices or the city offices and going like, my assessment, this is through the roof. This is crazy. I and know. so they're like, we're going to help you, you know, our common citizens, we're going to help you. So we're going to not drop your assessment, but we'll drop the, the you know, assessment rate by right. a couple cents. Now we have, look, we're giving back to our community. Okay. Right, right, right. So. <laughs> and that's been happening a lot here. It's interesting to see, just kind of to give you an example, if you are looking at a similarly um, priced home, you know, at about 530000 in the three different places, like in Chesterfield County, in Henrico County, and in uh, the city of Richmond. So for city of Richmond, your taxes would be at about 4400 4, a year. Right. Okay? For a 530 house. In Henrico, you'd be at about 3600 Mm. So good, good chunk less. And then, you know, uh, in, in uh, Chesterfield County, one of the more, you know, for 530 in one of the more desirable areas, you'd be right under 4,000. So that gives mm. you kind of a range of where you'd, you know, where you'd be. You yeah. pay it one way or another. Right. And it's, I mean, I, I tell people all the time, it's just, it, it's like almost like every question that you get asked as a realtor is the answer is it depends. It depends. Yeah, you know, it depends what's important to you. What do you exactly. want? Exactly. Right. Yeah. So does that matter to you? Right. Exactly. Yeah. What's the percentage of what you know? What things? Uh, you know, the 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 list to sales price. What's what's the average? It depends. That's right. Absolutely. Right? It's yep. the same. Yeah. All right, we're gonna do a little contest here, my friend. Ooh. Okay. So get out your phone. Oh yeah. And I want you to find your favorite property oh there we go in the in the in the Lynchburg area your favorite property in the 500,000 range and tell us about it all right well i mean again okay this this goes back to it depends it depends if, if i were buying a house in the 500 price range 500 to 600 yeah. i would end up at this property which okay. is listed at 5749 okay now, the interesting thing to me is, you know, given today's market, this has been on the market for 46 days. Oh, my. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, but let me look at the. I think it's on a. Oh, no, no. The basement. It does have a full basement. Sometimes, you know, depending on what people want. Again, it depends. It, it, a slab or basement. This is you will you will see, I think, is beautiful. Um, it's just my aesthetic, though. It's kind mm -hmm. of like this almost like a modern slash mid-century modern thing okay. four beds four baths um i think three thousand square feet i like it a lot it's really cool so you get that for 575 and since it's on the market for 46 days you probably get it for a little less oh but that is a very cool house yeah that is a very cool that, house. yeah I, I dig it i like it so that would be my pick if I were going to pick a house for, in that 500,000 mark. I am sincerely oppressed because, because to get something that's more modern like that in, in Richmond, well, particularly in the city, 
Yeah. Maybe you're going to get a modern, uh, a modern condo in the city for around right. that range. Okay. Yeah. And definitely if you're getting out in some of the county areas where they've been building the very modern things, you're not going to be anywhere in the 500,000 range, my friend, you're going to be right. edge in a million. Now you don't see a lot that look like this though. You know, not a lot of people Super build cool. like that. Well, gonna, well, the one I pulled up is, um, <clears throat> really exciting <laughs> comparatively. I don't know. It's kind of a toss up. You know what? I'm going to go to this one. I'm going to go to this one. It's kind of classic and boring, but great area. Um, this would be a property that's in um, the West End of Henrico. Very, very colonial, very traditional. It was actually built in the late 80s. I wouldn't say that's necessarily my favorite uh, time frame, but this is definitely about an area. And definitely if you're looking for kind of quintessential Richmond, this is okay. what most people are gravitating towards. Yep. The four bedroom, the two and a half bath. This one is about 3000 square feet, no basements. We don't have a lot of basements in, in Richmond. Interesting. Um, we would be more, you'd more likely to go up to a third story or definitely you'll have like a bonus room over or a frog over top of your garage. Um, but not a whole lot of basements. That's kind of a, that's kind of a, um, a novelty of sort. Okay. That makes sense. Um, which I know is hard for a lot of people that have been, that have lived in more uh, hilly or mountainy spots or come from further up north or other par uh, areas. Everybody's looking for basement. I'm like, you know, we'll try to find one, but don't, you know. Yeah, it's good to know. Don't expect that sort of thing. And then lot size, you're going to, this would be a very level lot. Mm. Um, and they, when they say flat lot, this would be a very flat lot. So it gives you that like quintessential lot and right at about um, a third of an acre. Okay, and that's yeah. at about five twenty nine. Um, interestingly enough, that is a big, a big Richmond thing. Never assume that you'll have a garage. Yes, that is never assume it. It's like eh. even if it's a really, really, um, you know, higher end property. A lot of times, like, maybe so. At the five hundred thousand mark, kind of that house that you're looking at, because I don't mm -hmm. see it right now. That has right, right. has a garage or doesn't have a garage. Does not have a garage, and it's kind of more suburban. Ish. Definitely very suburban. You have a good size. You'll have a good size driveway, but no garage. Interesting. So I would say definitely in the five hundred thousand dollar range, you're almost certain to have a garage here. Well, you're um, almost certain to have much lower taxes too. It sounds like so. Yes, that's true. Um, do you? This is a little bit of a tangent, but do you know the? Do you know the carports? Yeah. Okay. Do you know who came up with carports? I did not. I don't know if this is true or not. I, I heard this on a podcast, I think. So uh, your watchers and listeners can double check. Back this. Check. I think from what I heard, it was Frank Lloyd Wright. Well, that would make sense. Yeah. And when his idea was when he was in that stage, when he was building those like uh, utopian homes or whatever, mm -hmm. utopian or something. Right, right. The kind of like middle class house for people. The idea was that a carport, you know, it was a place to put your car, but he didn't want to enclose it and make a garage because he didn't want people to store junk there. Pretty much. Makes sense. It makes a lot of sense because that's exactly when you have a garage in Richmond, that's yeah. what you're doing. Very rarely you find a car in there. Yeah, right. Interesting. A lot of junk. In that two, three hundred thousand dollar range, a lot of carports in Lynchburg. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Learn something new. All right, we're gonna do the same contest go on your phone and find the most expensive home in your mls and talk to us about it all right so this one is actually on i know i've talked a lot about the west end of henrico this one is actually on the east side of um, the eastern part of henrico but still in that county this one is at 4.255 you know just just a, a little summer cottage, right? Yeah. Um, this one is 7347 square footage. It does have a basement. It does have a basement. It is on 38 acres and it's on a nine acre plus uh, private stocked pond. So not on the James River. Usually we see this price point more, you know, on the James River or on the very exclusive neighborhood sort of thing. Um, so this is this is a nice home. Now it was built in 2005. Wouldn't necessarily say that I love the early 2000s architecture sort of thing, but this one is actually very much something 
that I would see, I could see with a mountain vista, uh -huh. you know, or something, you know, something in wintergreen, something out there in the mountains. It's got the big, huge, like whole wall of windows in the back um, to look at the pond, of course. Um, lots of space, lots of variety. And surprisingly, even though it's on 38 acres, um, very convenient to, um, if you needed to pop into the city or pop onto the interstate, you could be there real fast, which is oh, very yeah. interesting. So you're like in the country, 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 and then psh, you're in the city. It's kind of cool. Ned, Aaron, I might've missed it. Did you tell me how many square feet it is? That it's a uh, 70, what was it again? 73, 47 on the square footage. And that includes, included in that is the finished basement. That's about a thousand square feet. Okay. Yep. Nice. Good size house. All right. So I did send you an email with the million dollar property. Now, as you're looking at that, or as you're pulling it up before you're pulling it up, I'll tell you that in our MLS, and you might find this with your MLS too, like when people have million dollar properties, they'll often, you know, hit sister MLSs also. Of like course, yes. Morning, right? So the, the largest one in my MLS, although it's not my MLS area, it's really even like west of Roanoke a little bit is like 3.9 million. So yep. I kind of, I don't count that one for sure. Mm -hmm. Then there's one that is, um, and that one actually is on Smith Mountain Lake. Then there's one that is in my MLS area at 2.4 million, but I didn't send you that one either because that one is um, a house combined with like a wedding venue. Gotcha. So, it's not really an accurate, like this isn't a house. Right, right. This is what I did send you is 1.8 million. That's in our area. Also, I don't think I'll ever spend that much money on a house, but aesthetically, I like the look of it. It's um, interesting. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. It's four bed, five bath, 6,800 square feet, and it's on 22 acres. So it's got that pool. I, I didn't go through all the pictures. I'm sure that it has a pretty decent view um, also. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I really, I like the aesthetic of that also. Mm -hmm. So 1.8 million. That's what it gets you. I would definitely live there. I like it. I mean, you know, Again, it's all aesthetics. It's all personal choice, but that's what you're looking at here. I, I can definitely say with the things that you have shown, viewers, if you're looking for your bang, uh, the ba a little bit big bang for your buck, um, Lynchburg might be yeah. singing to you. If you can, if you can do that work from home thing, right? Depending, or if you're yeah. retired and you and you can just pick where you want to go, but certainly like school work, you know, those, those drive where people go. Yeah, for sure. For sure. How is yeah. there just curious with it, things being, would you consider Lynchburg to be in the area around there? Would you consider it to be rural? Do you think you're rural or no? Uh, um, I know that's kind of, that's kind of relative to, to what? Yeah. But I think it's, I think it's more rural than Richmond. I mean, you know, the thing, the, the um, amount of time and distance it takes us to get to, to places. I mean, again, we're about equal distance from, from Charlottesville, mm -hmm. but you're certainly closer to like, I love going to DC as well. Mm -hmm. So you're closer to that you're closer to, which could be good or bad, like, like you know, Nova, <laughs> you know, right, right. so some people don't want to be that close to it. Um, so, so yeah, I think certainly more rural than what Richmond is. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. You can probably, I mean, even outside of Richmond, you could probably get to some pretty rural areas. But like if you oh, want yeah. to live, hey, I want to be within 30 minutes of a hospital mm -hmm. and, and 30 minutes of Centra, but you can still really within 30 minutes, you can feel like you're in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you say that you guys have challenges with how people, when you said about the working from home, the people that are further out, are they going to have a problem with high speed internet? Is yes. it going to get tricky for them? Yeah. They will, depending on where you are. You certainly will. Gotcha. Always important things to keep in mind that everyone's like, oh, I wanted this, you know, this rural, this rural lifestyle. I'm like, mm, but they're like, but I got to have high speed nerds. So I can, I'm like, mm, do you really, you can't be so rural. I know. Right. Keep that exactly. mind, sort of thing. So yes. very, very cool. Well, hey, JD, thank you so much for joining us today. We have had a great talk. I, I know I've learned a lot about Lynchburg. A lot. My pleasure. My pleasure. And I look forward to coming to the cemetery. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how morbid. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in for another episode of Living in Richmond, Virginia in Spotlight. And remember, leave everything better.
Hey, we have people contacting us all the time about um, looking for a realtor and looking to move to Richmond, Virginia. If that sounds like you, we would love to be the real estate team that helps you. All of our contact information is below the description and we can't wait to hear from you.